Hello all, my name is Jana Jumankulova and I'm a teacher of English from Taras Bilem Innovation Lyceum for Gifted Girls. Let me introduce a part of the lesson for grade 10, preparation for IELTS. Learning objectives will be focused on writing task and, and we will take only planning stage. Lesson objectives are the following, identify writing task 1 criteria and describe writing task 1 types. We will start our lesson uh, as usually from the idiom and the idiom is to throw in the towel, which means give up something. For example, I've spent too much time on this project to throw in the towel now. Please write the idiom, write the meaning of the idiom and make up your own example with the idiom. Now. Let's turn to IELTS writing task 1. Let me introduce uh, the main points of writing task 1, which you should pay attention to while you will be doing it. Firstly, you should write 150 words. You can write more than 150 words. However, you shouldn't write less than uh, the given number of words. You will spend uh, 20 minutes to do this task and it will take 33% of total writing marks. There are special marking criteria like task achievement, coherence and cohesion, vocabulary, grammar range and accuracy. Each of them takes 25%. We will speak about them in details uh, other lessons. But I want you to pay attention to uh, write in task 1 band descriptors, which is of public version. You can easily find it in the internet. You can download it and uh, you can get acquainted with them in details. There is a description of each criteria starting from band 0 to band 9. We will also uh, discuss this later on in uh, another, another uh, lessons. One more thing that I want you to pay attention to is writing answer sheet. Um, in the beginning, uh, you should complete the form of um, a candidate name, candidate number, center name and others. You should tick uh, academic module. And there is also a field for examiners use only, which uh, you as a candidate should not uh, fill. Um, there are some points that you, sh you should pay attention to in examiner's use only. For example, like under length, that is um, if you didn't write uh, enough words, number of words, every word will be counted. In the end of this video, you will know how to count the words in IELTS. It can be um, connected to listening or writing or reading even. Uh, now, uh, next is penalty. We will discuss different types of penalty um, later to uh, off topic it means that uh, you haven't written according to the given topic um, memorized it means that you have uh, learned or memorized the answer from the internet or other resources some phrases or the whole text of writing and eligible it means that your handwriting is not understandable that uh, an examiner can't read what you have written and now let's move to different types of uh, writing task one. Um, so uh, the first is bar chart. There is also pie chart, table, map, line graph, and diagram. Diagram or the process of something uh, which is uh, done. And now uh, let's discuss how the words are counted in IELTS. Uh, let's start from the numbers. All the numbers are counted as one word, even though there are several symbols. Um, the number like 30,000 will be counted as one word. And time like 9.30 a.m. will be also counted as one word. The date, which consists of three numbers, will, will also be counted as one word. But the date consisting of number and month will be counted as one number and one word for example the 12th of july 55 percent if percent is written as a symbol it will be counted as one word but if if it's written as a word it will be counted as one word and one number 
The prepositions in the articles will be counted as one word, for example, a, n, the, in, at. Up to date, the hyphenated word will be counted as one word, and the complex word consisting of two words, for example, blackboard, will be counted as one word, but if there is word defining this complex word, like university bookshop, it means that there will be two words. In the sentence, let's look at the sentence. For example, the majority of energy was generated by electricity and we have 55% in brackets. Um, there will be nine words because we have the word, we have the number 55% in brackets and the words and the numbers that you write uh, in brackets will, will also be counted as words. Um, let's finish our lesson here. I will send you your home task and the task that you should do and send me later to my uh, email. I will check it and give you feedback um, later as soon as I check. In the um, end, there is also a slide with references. You can use them uh, if you want uh, to have further information on writing task one. See you. Thank you for your attention.